So having DLC for games like Spider-Man, PS4, it's a crime, but it's okay if Call of Duty does it all the time. What kind of world are we living in? Anyways, what is it good with my people? Again, it's me and Loco, and today we're going to be talking about something that is kind of pissing me off a little bit. I'm not sure if this video is called a rant, but whatever you want to call this video, I just want to, I guess, talk about this, because, you know, I, the, the thing is, everybody's going crazy because of the fact that Spider-Man PS4 is going to have three DLC down the road, and people are just saying, you know, how is it possible that this game is not even out yet, and they already, um teasing or announcing DLC. Now, I get what you're saying. I think, you know, it makes sense that people are assuming, you know, oh, this content is already in the disc. They just, you know, I guess, um, putting everything behind a paywall to get you more money, which, you know, most of the times, I guess that would be very true. But in this case, I don't think it's the, it's the, uh, the actual fact. You know, this game went gold the last week of July, and now they just... Now, I know what you're going to say. People are going to say, you know, but the three DLC uh, extensions or uh, expansions, whatever you want to call them, uh, they were announced back in April. You're right. But they specifically say, you know, we're going to start working on those after we finish the main game, which happened on July, the last week of July. And now they teased the first, I guess, DLC, which is called uh, The City That Never Sleeps, which, by the way, features my babe, Black Cat, and she looked... <laughs> Amazing. Miss me. Felicia. And the, the booty chick, you know, the moment that I saw her, like, she looked hella babe. And then when she said, you know, catch me if you can, you can bet your ass I'm gonna be after those booty chicks the first day, day one. Say no more. <laughs> Anyways, going back to the point. See, the thing is, I don't think this is bad or this is uh, getting blocked behind a paywall because a homie on Twitter, you know, posted something that I'm going to make sure to put either the picture or his name on the, on the video. Uh, and he basically said something that I didn't know and I think a lot of people don't know either. So I'm going to share it. He said that every video game after, you know, it's done, like it went gold every single video game goes through a process called certification so he posts a long ass paragraph that i'm not gonna read the whole thing i'm just gonna summarize it basically saying that this certification i guess process is when the game goes gold the company developers or whatever they send the video game to this certification place and they i guess check everything from you know top to bottom and then i guess it's sent back to the developers so they can release the game so they don't touch anything else because the certification process already happened so if you change something else i guess it's something against the law rules or whatever something like that so the moment they send the video game to the certification place you can't touch anything else basically that's what I, i'm getting from this paragraph so having this in mind and they finished the last week of july it really didn't have that much time to you know work on the DLCs. Yes, granted, they announced it on April, but they didn't know what was going to be called or what was it until now. So, and again, it's like expansions. It's not based on the main story. Like, they're not going to block a chapter, you know, to make you pay later on to find what the fuck happened in the main story like, you know, some of the games did back in the day. Assassin's Creed looking at you. Anyways, you know, that's not what is happening right here. It's just expansion. So this is outside the main story. You're going to get the full experience of the main story through the game, through your $60. So don't worry about that. The expansions are just if you want to buy, if you want to buy them, if you want more out of the, you know, the, the game, if you want more, I guess, more lore or whatever. If you want more, you can buy those. Bottom line is not required. So anyways, I hope this, you know, kind of make it clear because Again, it's kind of pissing me off that people is talking, Oh, you know, this game is trash because of this or that. I was going to buy it, but now with this shit, I'm not going to buy it. Hey, if that's the reason for you not to buy a game that is looking pretty awesome, that's on you. Let me know in the comments down below. How do you guys feel about this? Are you going to buy the game? Are you not going to buy the game? Are you going to get the DLC? Yes, no, maybe. I'm definitely getting the DLC because...
But Cat is just my babe. And the moment when she said, you know, catch me if you can, I was like, babe, I'm gonna be after those booty chicks day one. I mean, look at them. Oh, yes. Anyways, um, yeah, before this video gets a little more creepy, um, we're gonna end this video right now. So let me, know the, let me know in the comments below, how do you guys feel about this? Are you guys getting the, the game, the DLC? How you guys feel about this whole situation? Uh, and all that good stuff. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one, and bye-bye. Black Cat, I love you. And I'm gonna get those booty chicks.